Hello, I'm Michael from the Pierce County Beekeeper Association, and this is a quick video to show web administrators how to change the carousel or the, the banner that you see uh, sliding across the top. It's also called a slider. And right now we have five images, and you can select these images simply by clicking on the little circle. But we're going to add a sixth. We're going to add a sixth one related to the uh, Puyallup Fair for the for demonstration purposes. So assuming you're logged in as uh, a person with at least editor privileges, uh, you'll see the typical uh, controls across the top. And if you select the Home and Dashboard menu item, you'll see the various WordPress controls and the plugin controls uh, for the website. And the plugin that, we're, that we use to manage that slider is called Layer Slider. So if you select that, you can see that right now there are three different slider configurations. We're not really using the other two. The first one is the, the main slider configuration. So hit Edit. And now you'll see here are the, the five tabs which represent uh, each of the five, uh, five images. We're going to add a sixth one simply by hitting Add New Slide. And this particular uh, section here is the background. We're not going to change the background. We're going to change the image that slides across the top. So that's a little bit further down. And we're going to add a layer. So what we're going to do is let's add in an image that floats across. And let's pick the sepia tone. So the thing to sort of uh, to remember about this is that the slider uses a setup to use a 980 by 300 size image. If you have an image that's that size, it's size, it's really easy to load up. <clears throat> if you want to use a different image, you certainly can. It'd be best to crop it to that and then add it in. So here's the image, and you can see um, there it is. And this would slide across right now if we were to save it. <clears throat> but there's no dates or any other information here, so we're going to add that as a as a layer on top of this. And the reason why there's no dates is so we can reuse this, you know, pretty much every year. So we're going to add a new layer. So the first layer here is the image, and the second layer will be the text. And let's add in do the pial up September 5th. Through the 21st. All right. So if you scroll up here, you'll see there it is. Uh, interesting though, it's on one line, and that is because this is actually HTML. So we can put a break in here to force it to go on two lines. There you go. Now it's still not quite right. Really, I want this kind of over here over the the sepia tone. So we need to move it over, make the font bigger, bolder, and that sort of thing. And you can change that by selecting the style for this particular layer. And let's um, let's move the font down a bit and also over a bit. Let's see if that gets us closer. There we go. It's closer. Uh, I want it black and bigger. So let's like, make the let's make the font Arial black and let's make it a 50 point 50 pixel font and make it a black. Font. You can choose, you know, different colors. Uh, blue will make it a make it a blue um, a blue one right there. But I'm going to stick with black. Okay. There we go. It still doesn't show quite well. Let's give it a little bit of a background, and let's give it a nice light gray background. There we go. That's starting to look a little bit better. And let's call that good. So let's once you've got it set up the way you want, you go ahead and hit Save Changes. Let it save. Now let's take a look at it on our website. And now we can see there are six carousel items. And let's go right to the last one. And there it is. Do the Piala. Well, that is it. Hopefully uh, that was helpful.